Hello students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. Are you ready to learn today's phrasal verb? This month I'm doing a daily phrasal verbs video where I will teach you one phrasal verb per day. Phrasal verbs are a really important part of the English language because we use them all the time when we're speaking. And if you want to learn a lot more phrasal verbs, then I have a great course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. So if you'd like more information about my Phrasal Verbs course, click on the link in the video description. You can get more information, you can see a few sample lessons, and sign up for the course. Today's phrasal verb is hold out for. These are the three possible definitions. Only one of them is correct. So I'm going to present the definitions. I'll describe a situation where we would use this phrasal verb, and I want you to try to identify the correct meaning of hold out for. So does hold out for mean to give something to someone? Does it mean to stop something from happening? Or does it mean wait for a better opportunity? Okay, think about it and you can post your guess in the comments, A, B, or C, all right? Here's, a, here's an example of where we would use this phrasal verb. Let's say you're looking for a job and so you send out a lot of applications and you get some interviews and then one company offers you a job and it's a great job, the salary is pretty high, it's in a field that you want to be working in and there are lots of great contacts in your industry in this company, but the only downside is that you would have to work 60 or 70 hours a week. So the hours are very, very long. And you think about it and you decide not to take this job. Later, when you're talking to your friend, you tell him or her about this job opportunity and that you turned it down, you didn't accept it. And your friend says, are you crazy? That was a great job, it had a great salary, it was the work you wanted to be doing. And you tell her, well, I'm holding out for a job where I can have more of a work-life balance and a job where I wouldn't have to work so many hours over time. I'm holding out for a job where I wouldn't have to work so many hours. So, based on this situation, what do you think it means to hold out for something? Does it mean to give something to someone, to stop something from happening, or to wait for a better opportunity? The correct answer is C, wait for a better opportunity. So, when you say, I'm holding out for a job where I can have more of a work-life balance and I can work fewer hours, that means you're waiting for a better opportunity. Um, we often use hold out for when you actually reject or you don't take some opportunities because you're waiting for a better one. Another example would be if you're selling your house or selling your car. Those are two situations where it's common to uh, make an offer and negotiate. And so if you're selling your house and someone offers you $100,000 for your house, but you think your house is worth more than that, you think maybe it's worth $150,000, then you would say no to the offer of $100,000 because you are holding out for a better offer. Okay, um, and in the example I gave earlier, you are holding out for a job that was more in line with the schedule you want to have. So hold out for it means to wait for a better opportunity, and it's especially used in cases where we don't accept some opportunities because we want a better one or we want the best one. So we hold out for that better opportunity. Let's see if you can use this phrasal verb in your own sentence. So why don't you write a comment telling me about a time when you held out for a better opportunity or maybe maybe you're holding out for a better opportunity right now. Try to use this phrasal verb in your own English because using phrasal verbs is the best way to remember them better. Remember, if you want to learn a lot more phrasal verbs, check out my course Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. That course is really designed to teach you phrasal verbs in context because I think it really helps to learn the phrasal verbs by studying 
these situations, right? Because we don't we don't learn English vocabulary and English expressions just from lists or from dictionaries. We want to learn them in real life situations. So phrasal verbs and conversation will help you do that. I encourage you to check it out, sign up, and I think you'll really enjoy it. That's all for today's daily phrasal verb lesson. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.